I had a goal to get in the water by seven, so I forgot my pump. And the, I have two pumps. One only uh, works halfway, so I need 15 pounds back to a quarter of the way, a uh, third of the way. Yeah, I need 15 pounds to get me five, so I got to get the other 10 pounds of pressure in the uh, in the boat. So by the time I got out of here, it was seven. Probably I got out about seven oh five, seven ten, and now it's eight forty one. I'm pulling out. So find my little honey spot back over there by the Harbor Bridge, just before the entrance, uh, just before you go under the uh, Harbor Bridge from the Dover Lodge. Okay, so if, if you're trying to figure that out, it's Paddle by Linda Isle, and then you're going towards Harbor Island, and uh, there's a bridge back there, and that's a little honey spot for me. Okay, caught two the other day, pretty good size one. The one I caught today was smaller, but they're fun. They're a lot of fun. They, they're a lot of bumps. A lot of them were checking it out, bumping it, didn't quite have it. Some, I feel like I had a lot of spit outs. I feel like I had them and they spit it out. So, got to set my uh, line a little better, and. Um, uh, try to try to hook those ones I'm getting uh, those nice little uh, bites with here's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to see how quickly I could leave from my house and have that boat in the water and um, get to my honey spot and get to catch the fish and it's pretty quick especially if you have a pump that can pump all the way to 15 all right, and uh, by the way, if, if, uh, I pumped it pretty fast. From 5 to 15, I was pretty quick. I couldn't believe how quick I was. Starting to maybe rethink, maybe pumping's quicker way to go if you have energy. Uh, remember, it's kind of hard because I'm going to uh, try to paddle. So if my arms are burnt, that's going to be hard to paddle, but uh, I'm not going too far. If you launch from Dover, all right, go under the PCH bridge, go down, you can go the back channel behind Seoul and go up and around that way or go all the way across uh, Linda, go to the top of Linda and make a left and go down that channel right to the Harbor Bridge. So sit there and it'd be nicer if I had a anchor, don't get me wrong, if I anchor it down and I don't float as much, it probably would be a little bit better, but I'm not even sure the anchor is good. The anchor, do I still float, you know, left and right and get off? Because that's really the only thing that happens. I got off left or right. So, anyway, so that's that's that. Now I'm headed back to my house to have breakfast with my beautiful family. Okay, so uh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta love it. You gotta love to be in the water.
nibbling. skating that memorial and just scuffing it and chipping it and breaking away some of the cement memorials. It was terrible. It was beyond shocking because when I grew up in an era where skateboarders were pretty young, it was a young sport, and skateboarders, uh, 
did not care too much about our current structure of our society and they wanted to make sure uh, they, you knew they were here. And I don't know if it's still that way, but uh, a lot of a weird thing happened in the midst. Dustin finally figured it out and they said, you know, that's not going to happen. We're going to have to put uh, those little anti-skateboard little grommets on the statues so that people can't skate on it. And uh, they moved their park right to the park to where they're overlooking the skate park. The, that wasn't the weird part. The weird part was when I finally went and watched these skaters, number one, they were very good. You know, like, oh my God, these are some of the best skaters. There must be some of the best skaters. I saw some of the tricks they were doing, flying through the air. And then second of all, they were all like, you know, I was talking to my friend. He goes, oh, don't worry about it when he, when school starts again this is the summer of 2020 when school starts again um, they're all going to go back to school well the problem being you look at the skaters they're all like 40 <laughs> 40 something gray hair the other day i went by i'm not kidding i went by and there was a female skater with gray hair i'm talking uh, someone's grandmother was out there skating so Ultimately, what's happened is when I grew up in skateboarding, they were all young as a young sport, but all those young skateboarders didn't stop skating. They kept skating, and they're now older, and they're still skating, which is really neat. And um, so the skaters, that park is almost, it feels like it's never closed. But I get up this morning, and I'm wondering if I'm going to go fishing or not. It's 6 o'clock, and I go out my back door, and I'm not that close to where I can see the skaters just some of the clacking of the boards can echo through my neighborhood and you can hear them. I'm like, oh my gosh, six o'clock, these guys are over there skiing already. So these skaters, well, if they could get up early and go hit their trade for their sport, I could get up and hit mine. So I was wondering if I was going to do it, but the skaters actually motivated me to do it. So skaters, hats off to you. Go after it, brother. You know, find out what you're passionate about and do it 24 hours a day and uh, love it. That's kind of what got me out here today. Uh, now on Sundays, my wife has breakfast up, you know, nine o'clock. It's always a call to breakfast every Sunday. And I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be at home at nine o'clock for that breakfast, so that's special. Uh, but I have, uh, you know, Sundays I can't be out there that long. And if this took me an hour to get set up, I even wanna be out there more than an hour. So I wanted to see how quickly I can get in the water go catch a fish and come back. So I've done that, I've caught a fish. I got on video, hopefully, and uh, hopefully I will show you what that looks like in this video at, at the end. So I'm gonna do the starting fishing, start to end, to get in, get down, and hopefully do some nice uh, drone footage of the area. So you guys can have a nice video to show you what I do during the summer, okay? Very, very cool. Activity, summer activity, and uh, it's something to do for a very long time to come. Okay? Alright, that's it. Let's put some rock and roll on and uh, let's get on.